Welcome to Soft Talk. In Nepal, the Pushpakamal Dahal-led government has secured a very unprecedented majority in the history, in the parliamentary history of this country. It has garnered 268 votes in the 270 member House of Representatives. This became possible with the largest party in the parliament, the Nepali Congress, throwing its weight behind the ruling coalition and the, the CPN Mouse Center Chair, Pushpakamal Dahal. A whole lot of parties across the board have supported this government that includes uh, the CPN UML, the Rashtriya Prajatantra Party, Rashtriya Swatantra Party, Nagarik Unmukti Party, Janamat Party, and independent lawmakers. But two parties have stayed in the opposition. They are the Nepal Workers and Peasants Party called Nepal Mazdur Kisan Party in Nepali and the Rashtriya Janamorcha. Prem Suwal represents the Nepal Workers and Peasants Party in the parliament and another veteran leader, another veteran leftist socialist leader rather, Chitra Bahadur Kesi represents the rest uh, represents the rashtriya janamorcha party in the parliament will be giving space to their voices because they seem to be the voices of conscience they are the true opposition technically it appears that the nepali congress is no longer the opposition party in this parliament because it has thrown its weight behind this uh, ruling coalition that is in many ways uh, antagonistic to that party uh, the rival supporting uh, the rival cp and uml supporting this coalition and the main opposition though it is the largest party in the parliament but the political equation of the day means that it has been consigned to the opposition bench still the nepali congress throwing its weight behind this coalition means something may be cooking there inside in coming days this uh, coalition, uh, this uh, political equation no longer, it may not remain no longer. In that case, the Nepali Congress will have an upper hand when it comes to forming a new government that will be after about 2.5 years. That is the constitution set embargo for a change of guard through parliamentary means, through a vote of confidence in the parliament. The Nepali Congress may be waiting for that opportunity. It will obviously seek to lead a new dispensation because it is the largest party in the parliament. If that does not happen, it will seek to be the kingmaker. It is indeed the kingmaker uh, with this support to the Dahal government, it appears that the Nepali Congress has ousted literally the CP and UML as the kingmaker. We were talking about these voices of conscience, Prem Suwal of the Nepal Workers and Peasants Party and Chitra Bahadur Kesi of the Rashtriya Janamorcha. These two figures, they appear to have 
uh, they appear to be the voice of the opposition in the parliament that has uh, garnered that has uh, the this parliament that has thrown it appears that it has thrown its weight behind the prachanda led ruling coalition so let's hear what these two lawmakers from the opposition bench have to say about the goings on in the parliament they made these speeches they made these addresses during the vote of confidence they did not cast their votes in favor of the government here is what they have to say about this thing about why they did not vote for the dahal led coalition addressing the parliament on that fateful day prem suwal demanded scrapping of deals and treaties over the kosi gandaki mahakali upper karnali west city and arun three as well as annulment of the 1950s peace and friendship treaty quote unquote signed to keep nepal under india's security umbrella and thwarting nepali youths into mercenaries prem suwal demanded a halt to the practice of selling natural resources like boulders and aggregates mined from chure uh, from the chure hills to india further the lawmaker demanded capital punishment for traitors those involved in big corruption scandals and other heinous crimes like rape he advised the government to take back territories that india has encroached upon he called on the government to build quality roads colleges and other infrastructure in the districts for holistic development of the country suwal also called for scrapping of the kathmandu valley development authority without delay he demanded shifting of industrial states industrial estates based in kathmandu to the peripheries then came the thorn of rashtriya janamocha leader chitra bahadur kesi rashtriya janamocha leader chitra bahadur kesi made a mockery of uh, this system wherein uh, people uh, the so called people's representatives have to just uh, spend loads of cash to get elected he branded the system as corrupt to the core that is what he had to say janamorcha chief chitra bahadur kc expressed concern expressed concern about the scenario in the parliament he pointed that the charter had not envisioned such a scene he was referring to parties and independent lawmakers across the board throwing their weight behind this coalition to just give it an overwhelming unprecedented rather majority kc was referring to a virtual absence of the opposition in the parliament with almost all parties represented in the parliament including the main opposition nepali congress backing the dahal led government nepal's electoral system is quite costly kc aptly pointed adding those who spent loads of cash to win the november 20 elections they have no other option but to join this government having said that he formally reiterated that his party will stay in the opposition bench 
it will helm the opposition bench that is uh, without their support obviously without their support also this government uh, the dahal led government has garnered a very comfortable majority uh, just 138 seats would have sufficed for this government to survive whereas it got 268 votes out of 275 votes in the parliament that was a smashing victory but in coming days it will be quite clear whether this government will be able to do justice to the people to deliver good governance the rule of law and a corruption free society with this we have come to the end of this presentation we are a group trying to promote citizen journalism we are a startup media channel doing all our best to promote citizen journalism to be we want to be your true voice and raise issues that matter us the most uh, for those interested in the goings on in nepal this channel aims to just cater to them also to fulfill their uh, information needs regarding the developments in nepal so we request you all throughout the world to subscribe to this channel comment on our presentation and press that like button as a mark of encouragement we request you to be a little more generous than you have been so that we can be your true voice so that we can present materials that interest you the most thank you for watching thank you for listening